Hi, Susan. Hi, I'm Hi. Kelly. Kelly just wanted to grab a second opinion. Yeah, so she is looking just for dimension. Okay. I have um, low lights and depth here, and then it gets lighter in my ends, or do you like to see a more consistent yeah, amount consistent. of dimension? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. I'm going to write in here that that might give you a nice amount of dimension that doesn't feel too dark too because if you do just this it'll be really dark and really cool so we we customize all the colors we don't really ever just use the color that's on the swatch but never felt more like a winner than I do tonight never more certain the path laid before me was right to see you today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi I hope you had a wonderful week and I wanted to say a special welcome to some of the new ladies that subscribed to my channel this last week um, I'm so glad that you found me and, and Desi and I hope you like the channel and one thing is for sure you are going to love the ladies that belong to this channel. They completely rock in every way. So thank you so much, uh, all the new folks, and thank you everybody for being here today. Last week I did a video called My Unpopular Opinions About Makeup, and everybody seemed to have some fun with that, and, and you liked it. So I thought, well, okay, this week I'll do the same thing, only with <laughs> mature skincare. Now that, this is a little touchier subject. I'm not sure why, but I, I think I have an increased chance of truly pissing somebody off. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I love everybody and I love everybody's opinion. This is just for fun, but I do have some pretty unpopular opinions when it comes to, well, being over 60 and, and taking care of my skin. And, and so I thought I would just pass along some of my opinions and in the meantime, we'll just have some fun. <laughs> so let's do this. <laughs> All right, are you ready to talk skincare and be unpopular with me? Okay, here we go. The first question is, what is your basic skincare philosophy? And my philosophy is you don't have to have a lot of money to have fantastic skincare. And I think if you know there's two things that age us, the sun and free radicals. Well. If you have that information, that information is power. So it isn't that we're looking for a certain brand or a certain technique. We are looking for certain ingredients, great ingredients that are going to protect us from the free radicals and protect us from the sun. So information is power. Money isn't when it comes to skincare, but information is. So yeah, that's my philosophy, along with drinking water, getting some sleep, and keeping your stress level down. <laughs> yeah, all right. The second question is, what product do you hate that everybody on earth loves? And if you know me, that is so easy, and it is that cacay oil. Um, any product that has to put another product down in order uh, for you to buy it, I don't trust that company. And they have certain talking points that they give people uh, to use, like, well, it has more vitamin E than argan oil, and it has more uh, retinol than rosehip seed oil, or whatever. But there's no evidence that any of that is true. Um, I will link a video below uh, by Dr. Dre, and she did a great video on, on cacao oil. So I don't have to be the only unpopular voice here that doesn't care for that oil. But if you love it, that's fabulous. This is just my two cents. It's just my opinion. But I don't like that oil. <laughs> this next question turns the tables. Uh, what product do you love that everybody on earth hates? <laughs> and I would 
have to say my stone crop cream. I love this cream. This is my green miracle cream. And this is the most expensive product I buy. This is almost $40. And I love it that it plumps my cheeks and it fades my age spots. And I tap it in at night and I just love it. Well, you hate it. <laughs> I can tell from the returns that you don't like this cream. And I love it. So to each his own, there you go. But I just love that if you know anything about stone crop plants and the whole premise of how this plumps us up and fades our, but you don't care about that because you hate this. So I'll stop. <laughs> stop right now. All right. The next question is derma rolling. Are you in or are you out and why? And I have to say with derma rolling, you know, I don't really have a strong opinion on it. I think if you're derma rolling and you love it and you see results, that's fantastic. For me, I don't derma roll and I don't derma roll because I figure if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. So I can just see me with the alcohol and I'm derma rolling away and then suddenly I get an infection and it's some flesh eating thing and I lose my hair and my teeth fall out because I was derma. I mean, I think this way. I am a hypochondriac. There, I said it. So, no, I don't dare. I don't dare derma roll. I just don't. All right, are we having fun yet? No? All right, don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> the next question is, do you have a brand that is your holy grail? Well, I have great admiration for the company Acure. I get Poets Daffodil from them. Uh, that's a wonderful cream that helps uh, with tone and uh, fades age spots and it's wonderful to mix with retinol or retin-A. Uh, I love their marula oil. Um, they have a, a good rosehip seed oil brand too. So a cure, I think, I can't say enough wonderful things about that company. They're having such success too. Um, even naturals for serums. I love the Even Natural serums, the, their vitamin C with tea tree, amazing, and their 10 actives, oh boy, don't get me started. I love Even Naturals uh, for, for their serums, and for rosehip seed oil, the Aracasio, that brand is fabulous. So there's, there's three three brands I love. All right, and the flip side to that, is there a brand that uh, I dislike? And there's a couple of them that make me nervous. Uh, one of them is Peter Thomas Roth. Uh, I've tried, um, oh gosh, his, his Dragon Blood, his Retinol. I've tried his Pumpkin Mask Cream. I, I've never... I've never had any luck with, with that brand at all, and I know it's pretty pricey. I do use a pumpkin mask by uh, uh, Adelaide, Adelou, Adelou. <laughs> anyway, um, this is about $18, so it's about a third of the price of, of uh, uh, Peter's uh, brand. But, oh, another brand that makes me nervous is I watched a video by my friend Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I'll link it below, but she did a whole expose on Drunk Elephant and she showed before and after pictures and her skin actually got worse and that video is burned into my memory forever so now I don't dare use Drunk Elephant after seeing that video. <laughs> just the thought of going backwards just scares me, but I do know a lot of people like Drunk Elephant, but I think they're very expensive, and uh, you, you watch Mary's video below, it's, it's scary. <laughs> All right, the next question is, is there something that you used to uh, do for your skincare routine that you no longer do? And yes, I used to use the Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System, and I used to talk about it all the time. And when I used it, I could actually see a firmness in my face, and I just loved it. But I started to use the Ordinary 30% AHA peel, and when I started to do a chemical peel, I, I no longer had to do the harsh uh, pad uh, microdermabrasion um, treatment on my face from Neutrogena. So, yeah, I, I can't do that anymore. My, my skin my skin doesn't need it, and and my skin has grown, I, I think, way too sensitive for it. 
What is the one thing that helps us anti-age that you think doesn't get enough love or attention? And I honestly believe it's retinol. I have used retinol and I have used Retin-A and they both did wonders for my skin and I think they're both very powerful. I, I don't think that the Retin-A did any more for me than the retinol and I'll try to show you some pictures of what I'm talking about. But I use a combination of retinol and tea tree and I, I love it and I use it day and night and I also use the rosehip seed oil uh, that is chock full of vitamin A also. So, But there are times where I do wonder because retin-A is so expensive, I wonder if it isn't sort of a pharmaceutical brainwashing thing that's going on, you know, that we have to use retin-A, nothing's as good as retin-A. Um, because for me personally, that that is not the case. So yeah, I think retinol is a fantastic product. I don't think a lot of us talk about it, and I don't think it gets enough love. All right, is there a skincare treatment you just can't get on board with? All right, there's a couple of them, and I guess the biggest one is the Clarisonic. I mean, at night. I like it to be mellow and I, I like to go into the bathroom and use my cleansers and you know when I'm using a Clarisonic it's really loud it, it has a very sharp buzz to me it's usually an F sharp and that's very irritating it's it's uh, the same tonality as a vacuum so that ruins my buzz of peacefulness and then I'm using it and the water drips into my, anyway it's just a nightmare so I, I can't get on board with a Clarisonic as hard as I've tried and I know you guys love the, your Clarisonic but it's just not for me it's just not mellow enough and the other thing I can't get on board with are those peels where you actually hunks of skin fall off your face after four or five days I can't I can't do that either again I'm a big chicken all right, the last question is, is anti-aging skincare a scam or is there really things that you can do to look younger? Without a doubt, I wouldn't be here yakking if I didn't honestly believe that there are important things that we can do that make us look our best. And I think this kind of takes, takes us back to the first question, your skincare philosophy, where you know, we know, we know what ages us. So as long as, as we have that information, then, then the scams can't get us because I mean, when you're over 50, it seems like so many of these companies, their number one goal isn't to make us look better, but it's to get us to part with our money. And they promise amazing things that we know are not true. But when we're armed with information and we're looking for the antioxidants and the sunscreen and we're looking for things that help turn our cells over quickly like retinols and retin-A's and rosehip seed oil, when we have the facts, yeah, you don't have to be a rich woman to have a, a rich skincare routine. And, and, and that's what I love. So as long as you have information and you have a skincare routine that you can afford and that you love, the scams can't get at us. But they're out there. They truly are. I'm really hoping that you had a better week than I did. This this week my computer crashed, so what a mess. I'm going to have to go get a, a new computer. And I've been shopping for cars. I've been taking my time and working with a finance company and making sure I don't make any mistakes, but it, it's been a while and it's time I bought my car. And, you know, sometimes I think I do my best thinking when I'm out walking Desi under the moonlight. And I was thinking the other night who I was when I first came here six years ago and I didn't have a car. <laughs> and and actually I didn't have a computer either now that I think about it. But anyway, 
you know, it was just after my divorce, and, you know, and I was really scared, and I couldn't think of one reason to, to get out of bed six years ago. And I feel like I've rebuilt my life, you know, brick by brick, real slowly, but real deliberately, and that I'm not the same woman. I'm not the same woman now that I was then. I have been so lucky that I have gotten to share the last four years with so many of you out there. And you have enriched my life so much by telling me your stories of your life. You know, and last year I was doing videos about dating and, you know, how I felt about, you know, growing older. And this year was, my videos became more about love and loss and transitioning. Not, not only to a, a new way of life, but a new I was becoming different. I was becoming a different woman. And I'm so lucky that that I got to cry on your shoulder and I got to share this. And I know I, I know I've got some rough days ahead of me. You all know that. Yeah, but it's just like that quote. Life breaks everybody. It's just some of us grow stronger at the broken places. And I feel so strongly. It's almost like all of us here. How many times have you felt like you got knocked down? And how many times did you feel like, I'm never going to make it up? But you did. I think about that a lot. And I'm so comforted and so amazed at the sheer strength of women. Cause honey, I've been racing the wind like a bird, been chasing the wealth of the world. Ooh, every stone I oh my goodness, I can't believe it. When I adopted him last November, he was just turning four years old and he had a life of living in a closet and he didn't really know how to walk outside. And now he loves going outside. It's his favorite thing. And he's not shy anymore except in front of the camera. But anyway, thank you all for being so supportive and being so wonderful to Desi and encouraging me to to keep going in the right direction. So with that, thank you so much for everything you do for us and have yourself a wonderful brand new week and when you're done with your week, <laughs> come back and see us. Tell me where we go from here